Hi, I'm Doug Mitkap, Senior Product Manager of the eVault Portal. If this is your first visit or a returning visitor, this short video will guide you through all the steps of getting your computer protected with the installation and configuration of the eVault Backup Agent. If this is your initial visit after signing up with our free offer, you will need the account and password created during the free registration. Also ensure the computer you plan on backing up has ports 2546, 8086, and 8087 opened on the computer's firewall. The backup agent uses these ports to send encrypted data back to our cloud infrastructure. So let's get started with the four easy steps to get your computer protected. While in the eVault portal, the first step is to click on the Add a Computer button in the portal status feed. This will launch the wizard that guides you through the downloading of the backup agent. eVault supports many different computer operating systems, but this agent download only supports Windows 32 or 64-bit computers. If you need the agent for a different operating system, please visit the eVault customer service site to download agents for other operating systems. For the computer you plan on installing this agent, select the appropriate Windows operating system from the drop-down. I'm going to select Windows 64-bit and press Next. On step two of the wizard, the free offer customer should select no plugins. This allows backup of the computer's system state and backup the folder and file system. For our other eVault customers, you can select the plugin type that is applicable to the computer you plan on protecting. Keep in mind the plugin selected will automatically be part of the agent installation process. In this demo, I want to protect and backup the computer's file system's C drive, so I'm going to select the No Plugins checkbox and select Next. The next screen shows the details of the file that will be downloaded. Click on Download. The last step of the download wizard will ask you where to save the agent installation file. Keep in mind the agent installation needs to be ran from the computer you plan on protecting. I recommend you save it to a network location that can be accessed by the computer you want to protect. For this demo, I'm going to save it on a network share. Once you have selected the download destination, click on Save. After the download is complete, you can close the wizard window. You will then need to run the save file from the computer you wish to protect. To install the agent, I've started a remote desktop session on the computer I'm going to back up. I browse to the location where I downloaded the installation file and execute it. The installation will begin the extraction. Click on Yes in the user account control to allow the installation file to make changes to the computer. Select the preferred language and press OK. On the Install Welcome window, select Next to begin the installation. This window will show you where you can find support information at our customer service site. To continue, click Next. On the License Agreement screen, read and accept the License Agreement and click Next. The next window is where you will need to input your Web Central Control password. For our free offer customers, this is the password you created during the registration. Other eVault customers will use their existing Web Central Control password. The username will be pre-populated with the account used when the installation package was downloaded. Type in the password and click Next. Click the Install button to finish the installation, and when it is completed, click on the Finish button. So we have completed the installation of the agent for the computer to be backed up. Return into the eVault portal at portal.evault.com using the same credentials used previously. You will now see the name of the computer that the agent was just installed on within the portal status feed. To register the backup agent with eVault's Cloud Storage Vault and begin creating backup jobs, click on the Configure Now link. On the Computer Configuration screen, click on the Auto Configure button. This will register the computer to the Cloud Storage Vault where your backup data will be stored. The Auto Configure will also create a default job that will back up your computer's entire C drive on a nightly basis. Once the Auto Configuration is complete, click on Go To Agent. As you can see on the Agent Detail screen, there was a job created for this computer. Managing the aspects of the job is accomplished through the Job Action drop down menu. Here you can edit the job, view the schedule, run the job immediately, and so on. Clicking on the Edit Job in the Action drop down menu, will show that the entire contents of the computer's C drive will be backed up and protected. If you'd like to change what is backed up, you can change that within this screen. This job is scheduled to run every night, but if you'd like to run it immediately, select Run Job from the Action drop-down menu. Keep in mind the first time the job is ran, it may take quite some time depending on how much data is being backed up or how fast the upload speed is to the internet. And there you have it, your computer has successfully been registered to eVault's cloud infrastructure and is now being backed up every night. Please feel free to view eVault's other videos on our YouTube channel. We have more short videos that describe how to use eVault's cloud-connected solution to back up and protect your computers.